just a quick reminder guys, these narrations are best enjoyed with headphones on. Hey everyone, it's Brian Commander, 1980 Chief Editor of Disabled Gaming Reviews here. Now, just before the review itself starts, I would like to say a few words. Earlier on last week, DGR hit the 100. That's right guys, Disabled Gaming Reviews is now officially 100 subscribers strong. And I, and I really want to thank you all for staying with me through this journey. But rest assured guys, um, this channel is not going anywhere. So like I said in my earlier review of Mass Effect, my commitment to you guys is lifelong. So, thank you all for 100, 100 subscribers. Now with that out of the side, on with this review. Just a quick reminder guys, these narrations are best enjoyed with headphones on. Hey everyone, Miles South Pearl on the way from Good Robot in Miami here, and welcome to the climactic finale of Tales of the Tape. As Greg tags in his partner, the new gen of wrestling games, with only a slight advantage over the sharpshooter, will Greg take advantage of this in securing victory, winning the 2v2 title? A will Ian take the belt and add it to his collection? Let's ring the bell and let's bell it out. Now there are numerous professional wrestling organizations out there besides WWE and WCW back in the 90s. All Elite Wrestling in, or AEW featuring WWE wrestling superstars. For example, one of the most characteristic high-flying tag teams, Matt and Jeff Hardy, the Hardy Boys, which is headquartered in Jacksonville, Florida, and Fire Pro Wrestling. The organization itself was founded in 2006 in Indiana. Sadly, the organization got shut down in 2014. This title is the latest edition of the longest running series of wrestling games, which started with Fire Pro Wrestling Combination Tag, released on June 22nd, 1989. The premise of this game is also very simple. You pick a wrestler from a roster of current wrestlers which you can create and edit, by the way guys more on that in a minute, and battle it out for title glory. The accessibility scores are as follows. To kick things off, this ability gave it 6. There's no way to change your character's outfits. In a mirror match situation, both superstars will look exactly the same. So you will find it difficult to differentiate who is controlling which superstar. Next up, on ability gave it 10. There's no spoken dialogue in this game. All dialogue is text based. So a player with a hearing impairment won't be able to play this game with very little issues. Next on the agenda, Mobility gave an 11. As par for the course for most wrestling games, the button layouts can be completely customized via the game's options menu. So, controls can be tailored to suit a mobility impaired player's impairments. Last but certainly by not least, gameplay is scoring at an abysmally low 5.5. In short, this game has so much potential, however the developer's money grabbing tactic seems to be squandering it. First off, the majority of features, for example additional characters in the roster is hidden by a paywall. For example, you have to pay £30 just to use community created content available on the Steam Workshop. To think, I thought £8 for cat ears in Halo Infinite was a scam. On the top of that, you had to pay £18 on top of the game's retail price for the game's trademark manager mode, Fire Promoter. Negative aside, the gameplay is pretty solid. The grapple system is this game is unique, which makes this game stand out from the crowd in a very contested market. Instead of using a button to grapple with your opponent, you need to actually approach your opponent to grapple with them. However, this system is quite complex to use at first. When you are grappling with your opponent, timing is key. If you mess up your timing when grappling with your opponent, your opponent will reverse that move, causing you to lose control of the match. Although this can be frustrating at first, but with enough practice, it will be a highly rewarding experience while playing this game. 
In the base game, the roster of characters when comparison to the wrestling games available is very basic. However, the roster can be expanded through purchase of DLC packs for the Steam Workshop. This allows any user to download and install mods with a single click. However, the fact you have to pay £30 for DLC in order to use these mods is my definition of the term daylight robbery. In the early days of modding back in 1998-1999, when Valve Corporation released the very first entry of the Half-Life series, and Epic Games released the revolutionary, groundbreaking online shooter Unreal Tournament. Both of these games included modding tools rather than the box. This allowed the community to create their own maps, models, modes, and mutators, although that the installation process is quite complex at first, but it gets easier time every time you install a mod. Trust me, Jinx tried it, which was free to use. In summary, as I said before, Fire Pro Wrestling World has so much potential, but the sheer amount of money you'll have to spend on for DLC on top of the game's retail price make this game a bit of a disappointment. After all, the total cost of all the DLC for the game at date of writing totals a staggering £47, about the price of a newly released console game. And the overall score is 82.25%. And the team score is 81.25%. And so, as the sharpshooter stumbles up to his feet, he grabs a chair, hits Greg over the head, and makes the pin. One, two, three, and becomes our first 2v2 champion. So, on that bombshell, all reviews will be temporarily suspended until the medicine is changed and my epilepsy situation stabilizes as I concentrate primarily on the Let's Play side of the channel. See you guys then, Spartan Commander 1998. Roll out Spartan Century!